Hello, it's Steve the Nortel Guy. I want to show you a creative method that I sometimes use to make calls using my business line when I'm not in the office. Um, this is really handy when you're at home and um, you're working from your home computer. Now this particular technique is only possible if you have a soft phone. You know, this like what you see here in the picture. Um, or if you have some kind of program that lets you remotely control your desk phone. Now, this technique being demonstrated today is being shown on a Nortel 2050. Um, the 2050, as far as I know, only works with the uh, Nortel CS1000. Um, it does work with some modified um, of the uh, Nortel PBXs, like the Option 11. And I do know that it works with the Nortel BCM. However, if you have a Northstar phone system, the Northstar Meridian, I'm not aware of any soft phones that work with that system. So this would only be applicable to the previous systems I mentioned, the CS1000 and the, and the Nortel BCM. Okay, so why is it a big deal for me to use my uh, home line? Well, I mean, I'm sorry, to use my business line to make calls when I'm not in the office. Well, there's three reasons. Uh, the first is long distance and even though long distance doesn't cost that much it can still be kind of a matter of principle um, if I'm making business calls then the long distance charges should occur to um, my, the company I work for uh, the second reason um, is that the caller ID is so prevalent now that if I use my home phone to call um, clients or prospective clients I'm exposing my home phone number which some people may make note of and then choose to, to call back at a different time and I don't want that. Um, and the last one is that um, uh, clients who are used to dealing with me are used to seeing a, seeing a particular phone number when I call them. So if I call from my home phone they're not going to recognize that number and chances are they won't answer the phone. Alright, so um, now I'm going to show you this method and it's just one way to accomplish this idea of using your business line from home. There are certainly many other ways to do it so uh, we may cover those in another video but right now I just want to show you this particular technique. So um, assuming that you have a soft phone and assuming that you have some way to remotely access your work PC from home um, or from outside the office uh, I use a program called Log Me In. Um, there's also a program called Go to My PC, um, and uh, you can even use um, VNC um, Remote, which is a free program, but you kind of have to know how to set that one up. Anyway, the, what you use is not important. I'm not endorsing any of these. i just just telling you these are ways to access your P PC remotely. Okay, so let's get started. So I access my PC. This is my work PC. Um, I'm going to use my phone first um, to set up a call to my home line. Okay, call my home line. Let that ring. Let that get set up. Now, I'm going to hit the conference key and I'm going to call my customer. Okay, and then once that starts ringing, I'm going to hit the conference key again. Now what I've got is I've got a bridged call between my home line and the customer. And what's nice about this is that the customer, is, if they have caller ID, is only seeing the caller ID of, um, of my business line. Now, in this particular case, I just got done making that call. Um, what I can do is hit the conference and I should be able to dial somebody else and bring in yet a third party. Now I'm not going to do that in this particular case so I'm going to go back to my line here and then if I was really fancy I probably should be able to drop one of those guys off. Let's see if I can do that. don't know if I can do that. Well, anyway, what I was trying to show you was if I could drop the called party off and then just regain my home line and make yet another phone call. But in this case, I'll just hang up. All right. So anyway, that's the technique. Um, like I said, you probably could um, drop the customer call, 
reconnect to your home line without having to redial it again and then hit conference and make another one but in any case that's that's the technique and um, it's a simple one and it solves those three uh, problems that I mentioned before about the long distance and the caller ID from your home line and the caller ID to the customer and um, I'd be curious to hear what you think about that or if you've got other techniques you're aware of that you use um, I'd be interested to hear about that send me an email um, through this site or um, or leave me a comment okay thanks for watching